Hey everybody, this is Chris, Kerbal Space Program, Career Mode Point Two Three, Episode 4, Moon Probe, or Probing the Moon, if you will. Uh, this is starting right uh, right when we get close to the moon. There's no sense in showing you the launch and, and the rendezvous with the moon. It's kind of standard. Uh, so I just threw this in there as kind of like a uh, just a quick video on getting points with, you know, small rockets and not very complex so basically this has a science bay and uh, two goo modules and some other stuff and it's on a stay put nick pro body and what I did was one of the reasons I did this is because I was attaching the goo containers um, to the capsules and with deadly reentry they were actually just catching on fire and burning off so I purpose built this probe to kind of counteract that and I put the goo containers uh, radially mounted to a square strut and then uh, the science bay is below with a ablative shield that uh, protects it when re-entry occurs and uh, it's a nice view of the moon right here with that uh, nice dark crater uh, very analogous to our moon which is obviously what it was meant to be but uh, it is kind of striking at times uh, you can hit it just right in the sun and it does look really nice um, and of course, when you get closer with ground scatter, it's really cool. But yeah, so that's the pro body with the goo containers, the science bay, and it's just it, basically it's a small rocket. This was just a uh, flyby, and then I was you know set up a return trajectory right off the moon, and then head back to Kerbin and deposit the science into the science bank. But um, you know, not anything complex or anything. So this is something that anyone can pretty much do. Um, you know, I. I came back I had I had almost uh, just over three quarters of a tank of fuel just doing this flyby and so you know we'll we'll just take that science and, and head back um, as you can see I have the drag parachutes there and um, you can see how the batteries are at the batteries will probably actually uh, burn off uh, during re-entry but it's okay because the it's a it's, it's an unmanned probe anyway but once once the batteries on probes die, then you can't do anything. You can't operate the probe at all. Unlike a capsule where you can still do uh, movements with it. But, again, with deadly reentry, if you don't have any battery power, your kerbals will freeze after a few hours in space. And now I'm just you know setting up my return trajectory here, and I have my um, sphere of influence change already. And we are heading back to Kerbin. I do think I have to do one adjustment burn to get the periaps down to about 20 kilometers so that with deadly reentry I can that's probably the safest bet on especially on smaller craft is about 20 to 25 kilometer periapsis and then you come through the atmosphere it's probably the most efficient way to come through and um, yeah no problem with the sh with the sh ablative shields at that periapsis height and um, you know that's pretty much it I just wanted to throw this video up there to show you that uh, you can do simple missions with probe bodies. Uh, now, the other thing is that I don't have yet installed is the remote tech. And in my .22 career mode, I did have remote tech installed, which makes operating a probe a lot more difficult. And the fact that I don't have a satellite network up around Kerbin to kind of aid that remote tech uh, mod. Because once if you don't have a... a geosynchronous satellite uh, in or a, a group of them like at least three geosynchronous satellites then may unmanned missions are nearly impossible because you need that connectivity back to Kerbal Space Command in order to make the probes actually work and also if you're doing a manned mission and you have uh, you want to transmit science then you also need a, a direct link back to Kerbal Space Command or direct or indirect and then we have a nice uh, a nice uh, uh, solar eclipse there. The moon was eclipsing the sun, and uh, it's just moving out. There we go. And now we are back. So that was pretty much the end of the mission. Um, and you'll see we'll go through the atmosphere in a second. And that was it. We're just checking some final things before we enter. Now, I'll end up burning a lot of this fuel to try to slow down. Not that you really have to, but uh, I had the fuel, so I just said, why not? And, um, you know, then we'll just disconnect from that uh, 
tank and rocket motor like that. Unfortunately, the staging was incorrect, and I actually uh, released the ablative shield. And I was kind of surprised that uh, we didn't lose more. And uh, I think it's because I slowed down enough that it, it you know, we didn't go through the atmosphere as, as fast. And uh, it didn't explode anything. So uh, that was a little bit of a mistake, but it worked out. So uh, thanks again for watching. And please like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know your thoughts. Thanks. Thank you.